Hey, it's me, it's the Steaming Bean coming at you from the north, and uh, we're going to do another math game. One of those fun math games that we enjoy so much. This is what I call egg carton math. All right. All you need for this game is an old egg carton and two little things that you could um, put in the egg carton. Like, for example, these are two beads that you could get at any hobby shop. And when you get the egg carton, um, what you do at the bottom with a, with a back black marker, uh, put numbers from 0 to 9 in it. And of course, you're going to have a couple numbers that will be repeating. Okay, and this is a fun game. What you can do now is um, put one one B there and one B there, and you're gonna close it. This is a little bit tricky with one hand because the other hand's holding the, the, the uh, camera phone. And shake, 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 shake. All right. So let's see how we see how we did, eh? Open up the carton. And you have, oh, look, it is a six and a three. Well, um, you can ask, uh, you know, your, your opponent, okay, so what's six plus three? You know, they say nine, good job. But you can also do, what is, um, subtract three from six? Or how many times does three go into six? Or what is three times six? So this is a great game. For those in elementary school, you know, uh, this could be, you know, good, you know, you have a little bit extra time in math class, you do a quick game. And that is my um, version of a curtain math. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. Okay. Oh, look. That's all right. So, look, both are in the seven. Okay, so what's 7 minus 7? Seven. 0. What's 7 times 7? You know, stuff like that. It's pretty cool, eh? All right. Let's do it a third time, you know. Shake, shake, shake. And I'm going to open it, and let's see what it has. Oh, look. It has an 8 and a 2. Again, I could do division, 8 divided by 2, or... 8 minus 2, or 8 plus 2, or 8 times 2. All right. A fun game for elementary school kids just to, you know, refresh in their math, uh, math skills. And I, what I like about that game is that it could get the more advanced kids and the lower kids, uh, lower at math levels, playing well together. And who knows, maybe you have uh, two kids face off each other and have a third kid as a referee with a calculator. Avoids arguments. Anyways, folks, thanks for checking it out.